Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the measure geom. So this command will measure the distance, the radius, the angle, the area, and the volume of selected object or a sequence of points. So we can type in the command line measure geom. Okay, you type in the command line measure geom then enter so here we can see we have we can measure the distance the radius the angle the area the volume and we have the uh, quick and we have and we have the mode and the exit we can also access this geom or this measure geom in the utilities panel so, so this is located here in the utilities and we have here the measure so here we can also see the the, the following measurement we can use okay so example we have here a geometry an object we have a circle, a polygon, we have a line, an arc, a right triangle, a rectangle, a square, and a ellipse. So first, we are going to, to get the distance, utilities, then measure, we will get the distance. So it says here, specify first point. So let's say we want to get a distance of this line. So this is our first point. And then it says here, specify second point or a multiple point. So let's first get the second point. Okay. So we have 2.9. We'll do it again. So your utilities, measure distance our first point this one and our second point so we have three the distance is three okay so we will get the distance of this right triangle so we will click distance and let's say we will get the distance from here Okay. Then this will show the distance of our hypotenuse and the the opposite and the adjacent. And we also have the angle. We have a 41 degree. Okay. Okay. Next, we we'll click the exit, utilities panel, measure, and we will get the ranges. Then it says here. We can select arc or circle to get the radius. So we'll select the arc first. Then we'll have the radius is 1.51 and the diameter is, is 3.01. Again, we'll click the radius. So we'll get the radius of the circle. So we have the radius is 1 and the diameter is 2. Okay, so we'll click the exit. Okay, next. Utilities, measure, we'll get the angle. So it says here, select an arc, circle, line, or specify the vertex. So we'll select first the arc. So it says the angle is 180 degrees. Okay, again we'll click the angle, we will select the circle. So here we can we can move to select a certain angle. So let's say from here we have 120. Okay. Okay, angle again. Then we will select the line. So let's say from here then this one then we have an angle of 41 degree 
Okay, again, from here, so this will be 90 degree. You can also check the angle here, of course, this is 90 degree. Okay, so this is how to get the angle. Okay, so next, make sure we will get the area. So in here, here in the area, we can we can add an area, and we can also subtract an area. So first, we're going to get the area of our ellipse. So we'll select the object, and we'll select the ellipse. Then we have the area is six point twenty eight. And the parameter is 9.69. Okay, next. We get the area of this square. So we'll select object. Select the square. Then we have the area of 1. And the parameter of 4. So again, let's select the area of rectangle. So we have the area of 3. Okay. So let's say we have the rectangle and we also have another one okay, like this. Okay. So we can now get the the area of this rectangle, then we can we can subtract and add. So, example, so we'll select utilities, issue, and area. We can add the area, subtract. So, first we'll select the object. So, we're going to select this one. So, the area of this is, is 5.03. Then, we'll select the add area. And then object so we'll select this one first then the other one then enter so we have the total area is 7.56 so let's say we want to subtract this area here so we'll select the subtract and then we will select this one we will select by points so we will subtract this area. Okay, then enter. So now the area now, the total area now is 6.53. It was subtracted by 1.02, which is the area of this small rectangle. Okay. So again, let's exit. Okay, so let's say we want to get the area of this one with, without this one here. So we'll select again, measure area. Then we can select by uh, points. So from here, okay, down here, and the area is enter so we have the area is 4.01 with the parameter of 10.91 okay, so this is how to subtract and also we can add the area okay so next we will get the volume so the formula for the volume is we have the volume is equals to the length times width times height. So we will select the object, we will select this rectangle, then specify the height. So let's say the height is 2, then we have the volume of 6. Okay. So again, Let's say we will make a 3D. Okay, so let's create. Or we will going to use this one. 
so we're going to extrude then our height is 2 okay enter and yes okay so let's go to this one's time okay so now we have the length the width and the height so we're going to get the volume so we'll select measure volume and then select the object so we're going to select this and we have the same answer which is the volume is 6 okay so we can also subtract a volume so let's say we have a we will create a box okay. so let's say this is a box with a height of 2 okay so let's say we have this one okay so first we're going to change the color okay and the other one let's say green okay we will move this one let's see here Okay, like this. Then we are going to get the volume of the two. Then we are going to subtract. Okay. So let's change to to the wireframe. Okay. okay. So so we are going to add the two volume first. Okay. So. We'll use the measure real type. Okay, so here we have the volume. Okay, so let's first let's first do the add volume object. We'll select first this one and the other one. Okay, then enter. So we have the volume of seven point eighty. Okay, so 7.80 the total of the two volume so if we're going to get one the if we're going to get this one let's say object okay so this has a six the volume six okay so okay measure geom then volume then you add so object this one and this one enter so we have 7.80 okay then we will subtract okay object then we subtract this one so the answer must be 6 okay then we have the answer the total volume is 6 okay so this is how to use the volume, the subtract and the add volume. Okay, so we'll go back to tab view. Okay. Then next, let's type measure, measure geom, enter, and we have the quick. So let's let's select this one quick. Then we can see a vertical and horizontal line so when this line touches the object so let's say we will touch this one so this will give the radius and the distance of this right triangle okay so we can see the angle and the distance if we're going to touch the line this will show to us 
the distance of this line and in this circle this will give us the dimension or the the radius of the circle and the polygon okay this is also show the dimension and the angle okay also the square so this is how to use the the uh, quick okay if we're going to apply in the ellipse, nothing will happen. So this is not applicable in the ellipse. Okay. So next we have here. So we type again. Make sure you. So we have here the mode. We're going to select this mode. It this will tell us. Make sure you always default to a quick measure behavior if you're going to to type yes okay then enter then this will happen every time we will type the measure the measure geom command this will activate the quick mode okay So, if we don't want to see that, so we will turn off. So, let's say measure G. Then we go to the mode. Then we will type no. Okay. Then exit. So that when we type again the measure geom command, this will okay again measure geom. So this will show us in this manner, wherein we can select the individual command, which is the distance, the radius, the angle, the area, and the volume. Okay. And we have the exit. So this is it guys. This is how to use the measure geom command. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you on my next video.